So here's the rule of thumb that I use. Text is for robots and pictures are for people and humans. One of the keys to my own success is doing this keyword research. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. These charts can really help you to know, like if you were trying to look at this and you had the inverse and you were looking at a product with keyword research impressions going down, maybe right now is not the right time to launch that product. When you track your keywords, okay, there must have been something bad that happened on May 12th. Sometimes there is a keyword algorithm change on Amazon that can cause this. Other times it could be like a stock out event where you up the prices on the product and you were able to see the impact of that by looking at the keyword tracking. So after you do all this keyword research, make the changes. But the second most important thing you do is track those changes, annotate the changes. Hey, I made a change to my A plus concept. How did that impact me? Well, you can see over time what those changes could do, what they could have caused, and that's very, very helpful. The tool we're gonna start with is called Cerebro, the keyword distribution map right off the gap. I have this product right here, the incense sticks. We hit the keywords button, we're loading Cerebro, and in here you can see the distribution. Sponsored keywords, these are paid keywords or PPC keywords. Organic keywords, these are earned keywords you don't pay for. The title is the most important element on a listing. You should spend significant time working on that and trying to make sure you address it to get a 10 out of 10 sort of title that you're looking for. The second most important thing for SEO is actually the main photo. And that's because CTR on a keyword will affect your keyword rankings quite a bit. You'll notice I have a box in the image like this that is intentional. Not only do I want to prevent hijackers from selling kind of a commodity item like this, but I also want consumer to know like, hey, this ship's in a nice box. Like you're going to really appreciate this product and take it serious. Then on the back end, if we look at the keyword search terms, I'm ranked 24,000 in all of home and kitchen. That tells you this is a very well received product. It's doing pretty good. I was the first person on the entire internet to point out that Amazon changed from using characters to using bytes. What this means is, is that you have 250 bytes to put into the generic keyword tab here. Amazon's rule for bytes is they don't count spaces. So you could have lots of small words inside of your generic keyword tab or search terms tab, and that would not penalize you. Likewise, if you're using Asian script or German script, that could count the word for multiple bytes. As you scroll down on this page, we take up so much space with our A-plus content. This is called a brand story. When you scroll down, you see product description. This is the A-plus content module. You'll notice that you can put in lots of pictures, lots of text. Please keep in mind when you're working on SEO and your product keywords that the text inside of the image does not help you for your indexing. So here's the rule of thumb that I use. Text is for robots and pictures are for people and humans.